Peace, peace, family. Peace, family. Peace, family, man. How are everybody doing out there? It is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day today. <clears throat> Simple as that, man. I got a new phone so I can come to y'all with some better quality videos and with some videos that's, you know, going to be recorded a little bit, you know, in a better quality, you know. But you already know. <clears throat> Shit, high vibrational, forever living. Let me sh check, let y'all check out the environment. I still got my water right here. Prayed over, pure, sage. It's my fire elements right here. I'm actually about to get ready to burn those. These are my earth elements right here. <clears throat> Put those like that. But really, it's all about the intention that you used to have behind this. <clears throat> this is also <clears throat> my other element. So basically you got fire, water, and you have earth. More earth. So yeah, let me go ahead and light these candles real quick. You know, just to show you how the vibes and everything like that. Shit. Yeah vision wall so created by my beautiful goddess you know so yeah get y'all a vision wall so y'all can start actually seeing the things that y'all want up in this life but damn where the hell is the damn light at like damn see it's like you can't never keep up with no lighter man like damn I lose a light up in my heartbeat. I'm putting everything on my bag. But now I got the light. Red. Simple as that. You know. You know, peace, peace, family, peace, family. Let me go ahead and get some of these candles lit for y'all. They actually lighting a little bit better today. Got shade. Got shade. It's lit. It's lit. But no. Shit, it's just a little quick little video, man. Not really expressing on too much. Whatever like that is really just being thankful at the end of the day, being thankful for the friends and the family that I have around me. You know, it was actually uh, my brother, my brother Miko, who had gave me this phone. Because he understand that, you know, I be trying to come to y'all with this YouTube and stuff like that. So, you know, he about made it imperative one day that I was going to be able to do that. So, shout out to my brother Miko, man. I appreciate him for that. Always. But, you know, I don't even know what this video is going to be about. You know, I'm just really just ultimately just happy to just have a phone. You know, if y'all know from my previous videos, I was saying like, damn, wait till I give me a phone so I can start recording on it. Now it's like I got the phone and it's like, I don't know how to feel. I don't know if to be happy. I don't know if to just feel appreciate, appreciative. I don't know. And that's where we're going to go into our next topic, which is emotions. And everything like that. Emotions and shit. Like, <clears throat> if y'all heard anything about the law of polarity, it explains basically that... Um, that it basically explains that there's an equal, you know, op opposite to anything, into everything. You know, the the swing taken on the left is the equivalent to the swing taken on the right. So it's like, I'm not really sure if I want to be happy because I got a phone and I can finally record to y'all. Or I don't know if I should really just be neutral and just, you know, kind of feel nothing type shit, you know. Like, do y'all feel me? Like, I don't know. Emotions are so strange, 
emotions are so weird. Like, the fact that you can even say, I love a person to death. Or, uh, I hate you so much I love you. Or, I love you so much I hate you. Like, you've heard things like that before. You know? And everything around you is vibrating. Everything around you is making you feel one or another end of the of the emotion spectrum. You either feeling happy or you feeling sad. It's never like a neutral feeling that people having with their emotions, you know. And even when you do fall in love on some shit like that, understanding the principle of polarity or the law of polarity. You will fall just in the, you will fall just in, you will fall in hate. You will fall in love just to rise in hate. You will fall in hate just to rise in love. I think about it, it's an opposite for everything. So the more you love a person, is really kind of like the more you hate a person or it's making room for or it's making that much more room for you to hate them you know because with emotions and shit we constantly build up an expectation you know that just shows the expectations that we building up towards people like we saying oh you know i'm sad because that didn't happen the way it was supposed to or i'm happy because you know i got what i wanted and that happened how it was supposed to it's kind of like it don't really make sense for real, you know, because with these with these emotions, they really steer us away from our purpose. Type shit like this. Shout out to B Dale. He was just he is uh was just talking about emotions and shit like that, and basically saying how emotions basically put a uh it basically puts an encryption over your heart. Type shit like that kind of just like what I'm saying, like, you falling in hate, or you falling in love, like, it's like, but you're rising in hate for that person, too, right? The more you can love them, gives birth to the more you can hate them if they do some shit that you don't love, so it's like, see, people really gotta start looking at that, and sometimes the things that hurt us, or the emotions that hurt us are really supposed to teach us and we don't understand that, like, you know, sadness and shit like that, like, you know, it's really, I guess you're supp supposed to, I guess you could say it's supposed to teach you. Sadness, heartbreak, all that shit is supposed to teach you, you know? But we know that emotions and shit like that aren't real. It's okay to feel emotions, but it's not okay to identify with emotions on some shit like that and i be trying not to do that too because it's like think about it try to go one whole day try to go one whole day without saying damn i mean no actually let me say it like this you can express yourself on some shit like that but don't overly identify with your emotions to a point where if something was taken from you you gonna fall into this degree of emotions which may be hate or sadness or you know some negative emotion right and even with happiness and shit like that it's like you can't get too happy because it's still so much more room for if this didn't work out or if this don't work out, it's gonna make more room for you to be sad. Like, do y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I hope I'm making sense. I hope I'm not too happy because I just got me a new phone today. Like, peep it, right? People get too happy and they, you know, it's like, it's like a motherfucker can get, can get so happy on some shit like this, like they lose control, right? Just like when the motherfucker get too mad, don't they lose control too? So, I mean, I'm saying, like, look at it like that. Emotions. Emotion 
the the word love on some shit like that even vibrates at a certain frequency. The word hate vibrates at a certain frequency. The sadness vibrates at a certain frequency. Actually, emotions don't vibrate no differently than crystals. Like, literally. Because we know what vibration is and we know what... Uh, we know what vibration is. We know what frequencies are. We know what, especially the highest frequency, love. Like, we know what these feelings are. We know what they feel like. You can identify an emotion as well as some people out here can identify crystals. You, we can identify our emotions just like that. Sometimes you can't even identify your emotions. Sometimes you don't even know how you feel. Representing and showing that are emotions really that accurate if so many people out here don't even know how they feel? Are they really that accurate? That's because it's, that's because with these emotions and shit, we're being stirred from our true purpose and shit like that. Stay with me, right? But nah, shit, it's like, you know, at first I was a little bit too happy to even try to make the video. I was, I was about to start fidgeting around with the phone and shit like that. Then I started thinking, like, damn, you know, why am I getting so happy? You know, I'm supposed to be using this phone to, you know, send a profound message across the the airways and across the ethers and shit like that, just so y'all can understand exactly what this shit is. Right? It's okay to be happy and to feel happy and to feel fulfilled, but when you're identifying too much to the point where it's like you lose yourself in the midst of it, it don't make sense. Right? Right? You can lose yourself so much that you <clears throat> you can lose yourself so much in your emotions that things don't make sense because emotions are just energy in motion type shit. So it's like Shit. But shit, don't get me wrong, it's gonna be hard for a lot of people to not identify with their emotions because you have so many things outside of you that's acting, you know, as an emotional influence for you. You got things out here on social media and just in the world period that'll make you mad. You got things on social media out here in this world that's gonna make you sad and happy and 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 nervous and angry and vice versa. It's like there's no stillness. For real, for real. Because if you consider it, if you really think about it, right? You really think about it. Energy and motion. Emotions are energy and motion. It's energy and motion. No different from these crystals right here. You can use these crystals to represent each or to represent a different emotion. This can be happiness. This can be shyness. Or, or actually, I wanted to kind of put them in order, but let's just say that this is love because this is a heart representing the heart chakra. Green representing the heart chakra. And then this crystal right here is like a brown type of crystal, reddish type of crystal. Let's just say that's representing your root chakra. So with emotions, you have a spectrum just like this, or you have a pole just like this. Your higher self and then your lower self. Your, high, your higher self is falling to everything that's good, that's high vibration, that's, that resonates with that person type shit, that's desirable. And then as you go down the chamber, or as you go down the poles, you have your lower self. You know, just like you would tune anything, like the higher you go up in frequency on some shit like that, it's like... It's like the higher you go up in frequency, almost everything that you, almost everything that you can can feel with your eyes closed kind of becomes important. If like follow me along, like in this dimension that we live in, people do not close their eyes. Stay with me.
People do not close their eyes. It be hard for people to close their eyes. They are constantly on their phone. They constantly looking at something. They constantly doing something. Nobody is still no more. Everybody is constantly ripping and running around. Nobody is peaceful no more. Nobody is still. Everybody, you know, running like a chicken with their head cut off. So it's like, you know, you're letting all these emotions and you're letting all this energy and shit come in to you, especially if you don't understand it or if you don't understand it because subconsciously it can be hitting you, it can be hitting your mind, but consciously you don't understand or understand the programming that's actually taking place on your motherfucking ass. Like, because that's what it is. Everything is, everything is is in its dimension is, is then the created to fuck up your emotions or to give you emotions, I guess you could say, or not give you emotions, but to leave you stagnant in emotions, old emotions and shit like that. Like, think about it. Think about the black community, how we feel. We know that RNA exists. RNA is basically, you know, all, all trauma, all fucking, all trauma, all pain, everything that show great, 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 great grandmama felt and her blood on uh, some shit like that, you're going to feel, or that same experience runs in our blood, or it runs in our veins and shit like that. Like, but they don't teach us about RNA. They don't teach us about the fact that we actually inherit some of the trauma and shit like that that we got, you know, from slavery and from all these wars and shit like that that we get to fight against the fucking oppressors and shit like that every day. People do not understand that, so it's like. Shit. Don't add me talking about, you know, I'm fucking, you know, kind of being heartless on some shit like that. I guess you can say I'm being emotionless. Like, I mean, because it's like you can't move with, with emotions. You have to be neutral on some shit like that. You got to be neutral. Emotions that go. How far can emotions actually take you until you feel some shit that you don't want to feel? And then when you do feel something that you don't want to feel, how are you going to fucking handle it? Everybody can handle happy times. This, see, this is exactly why a lot of people don't get shit that they ask for. And why you should kind of be happy that you don't get shit that you ask for at first when you ask for it. Because do, or do you understand do you understand the energy that comes behind getting what you really fucking want because when we understand that we understand that you actually have to understand how are you going to react if you lose it how are you going to react if you lose it motherfuckers gonna be suicidal motherfuckers gonna blow their head off because it's gonna be like damn i can't understand this pain just as it is in the other way if a person was ain't have shit if a person was just like you know at the bottom of the fucking bottom of the fucking bottom like the bottom of the ocean deep type shit i'm saying like how would they react how would they react if their life or if they felt that their life could get could get that's just a like you say ten times worse than what they in. How do you think that they will react? I'm talking about a motherfucker that's at the bottom of the bottom and they losing everything. How do you feel like that they're going to react? Because for them, it's more growing that they feel it like it's more growing that they feel like that they can do on some shit like that. It only makes room for for better experience if you're constantly. It only makes room for a for a better better experience if you're living on the opposite of the experience that you want to live on. So it's like the black community on some shit like that. What gives us a better experience is the constant need to get rich. 
is the constant need to feel like that we need to, you know, live the American dream type shit. Like, you know, think about it. It's like our emotions are constantly being being fucked with and played with from the movies and the TV shows we watch. It's like they want to keep us in a box, but they want to keep us fucking dreaming. Like the fucking American dream. The American dream is built for 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 the people that were the minorities. Because the American dream, the 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 oppressors, the white man was already living that shit. They owned America. They gave you a fucking dream while they owned and took everything, just how they gave us a motherfucking Bible and how they gave us a religion and took the fucking land. They gonna give you a dream and say, okay, yeah, this was you know, they give you that dream and then they control the fucking dream on some shit like that. Like, hear me out, like think about it. Like, I don't know if I'm talking on some motherfucking uh, high shit, but I smoke every day, so it's like, you know, I know that I'm damn near probably talking normal, you know, to me type shit. I'm not, I ain't finished a blunt shit. I just rolled up. Like, I'm just not getting started. But think about it. Like, really think about that shit. Sir. Emotions are so fucked up. You wanna know why they so fucked up? In school, they used to always say, if you get mad, take 10 seconds. God damn me, your emotions change like every five to ten fucking seconds. If you actually sit the fuck down and realize it, but no, they got us moving constantly, every day, all motherfucking day. Feeding into fucking emotions. Like, I mean, I'm saying, like, I don't know if I'm talking some shit, but like, literally, hear what the fuck I'm saying. Emotions are straight bullshit. You would know how emotions are bullshit because trials and tribulations, trials and tribulations are trials and tribulations. That's one end of the pole, and on that other end, you have glory and whatever the fuck you want to call it, happiness, right? You have these two ends of the poles. It's like you have rich and it's like you have rich and you have poor. Right? Got these two ends of the poles. So it's like It's like a fucking it's like a it's like a it's like they playing chess with our ass, really. Like watch they clone Tyrone. Why, like, really, watch that motherfucking movie because they were speaking some shit, you know? Like, they was literally hitting their ass with music that, you know, that they that they would just switch on in the motherfucking club where they'll just have motherfuckers, you know, crying on this beat, right? And then they got motherfuckers <laughs> happy on this beat and shit. You know, like, they got motherfuckers, like, literally motherfucking going from happy to sad, happy to sad. They, you know, motherfuckers, they're not even appreciating what's right here, and that's being neutral. Instead of actually being present, it's being neutral, because think about it. The past, the past, the present, right? And don't, don't they go in that order? And then the future, right? The past, the present, the future. The past, the present, the future. Being neutral... <laughs> being neutral is being in the present moment. Because 
when people think about their past, especially all these rappers and shit like that, oh uh, yeah, I came from shit. Ooh, 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 I came from shit. I was trying to struggle out like that. Ooh, 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 you know, motherfuckers don't even talk good on their childhood no more, type shit like that. So motherfuckers saying shit like that, right? And then you got the motherfucking present moment where motherfuckers not really sure how they feel. They're trying to, they're either slipping on the slope of, you know, thinking about they past and battling they traumas and they shadow self or they thinking about a better or brighter future because usually motherfuckers think about a better and brighter future for that stuff. Like, who doesn't look forward to the future? Shit. But people don't ever know how to feel right here. Like, think about it. What if we are just right here? And, yeah, and we have a choice. We can choose to be happy right now with just what we got. And live the best life that we can live right here, right now. Maybe we can choose that. Or maybe we can choose to think about our past and to go back on the bullshit and to think about what we don't have and and all that extra shit. All that extra shit that's lowering the vibration. Sometimes, I don't know how the fuck to feel about anything. Sometimes, I literally just sit here and just... I feel as if... And I'm not finna... I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying this like I know it because, like, it is true. But I'm saying, like, I feel my soul looking outside of my vessel. Like, I feel it. Like, I feel my soul. It's simple as that. I feel my soul. Like, we can't trust this damn body that we motherfucking got. Like, we can't trust it. This ain't shit but a space suit. We supposed to be ascending and going up into the motherfucking cosmos. But we getting stuck in emotions and shit. Like... What's that movie that they say watched uh, The Man That Fell to Earth? On some shit like that. And how he came down to Earth. And he ain't never felt shit before. He ain't never felt heartbreak. He ain't never felt pain. Like, think about how much they fucking with us. Like, because... When you feeling all these emotions, it's constantly like emotions are like roadblocks, constantly throwing you off from your from what the fuck you need to get done. What what what's something in life that we know that we have to do and we do this shit kind of with no emotion at all. Like what's up? What's something that we do every single day without <coughs> Without emotion at all Like what's something that everybody just do <coughs> Motherfuckers sleep <laughs> You sleep With no emotion Guess what? Because when you're asleep, you don't feel happy or you don't feel sad. It's like... I mean, unless you're sleeping with a motherfucking frown on your motherfucking face. Like, nigga, then you got some fucking problems on. I mean, goddamn me. Hey, and they always used to do this on the motherfucking movies. When motherfucker was asleep and shit like that. 
they always hit their ass going to sleep with a smile on their face, getting tucked in. Like, sleep was that motherfucking good. Like, don't get me wrong, sleep is good. Like, sleep be fucking busting. Like, we know it feel good to the body and to the soul. Like, it's neutral. Damn, near. like, it feel good to the body and the soul. Like, like, who around her so mad that they can't sleep? Who's so happy that they can't sleep? But then again, at times, motherfuckers do get so mad that they can't sleep. They so happy that they can't sleep. They can't find that balance on some shit like that in their life. So it's like... What motherfuckers doing? Like, everything, <coughs> everything fucking with our emotions, man. Like, you supposed to be doing your purpose here on this motherfucking earth, but you worry about me smoking the motherfucking blunt and shit like that. And you worry about the next motherfucker. You know, doing this and doing that. Like, what the fuck is your purpose in motherfucking life? You, everybody feel this way and that way. What the fuck are you doing? What are you living towards in your life? You feeling this way about everything. You mad about this. You mad about that. God damn it. Like, if you gonna be that, if you gonna feel that fucking way, still be pursuing your goddamn purpose at the end of the motherfucking day. And don't let it stop you or be the roadblock. I mean, so for some for some reason, it feels like I know. Yeah, one day I want me a big house. I want me a motherfucking nice car. But it's like I remember how it was when I had a broke phone, and I just got a new one. And I'm asking myself at the end of the day, like, damn, did anything really change? Did anything really change? Like, I'm still here. Even when you mad, like, does anything really change? Like, yeah, there are things that change from the result of you being mad and things that you attract to you. But it's like... What really changes? Like, are you going to get that and feel fulfilled for the rest of your life? What if somebody told you that when you get that, that's going to be the last day of your life? We often think that we get things and we think it's going to be the first day of us living. Oh, I finally got that. I can finally... It's like... We wasting so much time right now. I'm like, who gives a fuck? Like, and it's crazy because it's like, even if you don't got it, you already got it. Like, they gotta constantly make us feel a type of way. They gotta constantly give us something to feel. <clears throat> Ain't no it's crazy shit. <clears throat> I ain't feel how I wanted to come on this video. I was really just had got the phone, like, yeah, I got the phone, I'm, you know, finna ready to go chill and listen to music. But I'm like, nah, shit, like, okay, I got the motherfucker. What, why did I originally want this? Why did I really want if I wanted the phone to come out here and to talk to y'all, to, to speak a motherfucking message, shit. Free Rashad Jamal, goddamn me, like, Shit, I just can't just get y'all a frequency. God damn you. And yesterday, man, I was actually meditating in front of the elements, calling out to the ancestors, and I was asking the ancestors, who am I? Like, who am I? And it's so crazy because the answer I got was, I am who? Like, think about that. I asked the ancestors, who am I? And they told me, I am who. If you know the etymology of who, right, it relates back to some other shit, like uh, some, some Russian shit, right? But basically, when you go back to the word and when you, you know, <clears throat> go back and even define, like, who is, who is, who is they, 
who is who is uh, another or like together or some shit like that. But basically, when you say who, you are referring to another. You are referring to everybody else. You are referring to somebody else. You are referring to anybody else. So basically, when I say I am who or who am I, it is basically saying that anybody am I. Anybody am I. If you take what the word actually means and, then, and place those in the actual sentence. I am is the only complete sentence. So basically, when you put something in front of that, that's what it is. So when you say, who am I? You are basically saying, anybody am I or I am anybody. So it's like, on this journey, they're actually trying to discover, like, then who the fuck am I? What am I supposed to be doing on this earth and shit like that? I only can explain myself and discover myself through anybody. So it's like, simple as that. So I ain't want to make this video too long, for real, for real, you know. I just want to say I'm just blessed, man. It's like, just feel good to just be here on this earth, man. Just another motherfucking day. <clears throat> Shit like that. And even if I'm gone tomorrow or gone later on, it's like, hey. Shit. I was, I was here, motherfucker. I was just, I was here. I wasn't here, man. I'm not fucking here, nigga. I'm right here. Fuck all that shit, but... Man, peace to all the reflections out there. Peace to all my reflections out there. Peace to anybody. Peace to everybody. But I will see y'all when I see y'all. I will see y'all when I see y'all. I'll let y'all break that down. <clears throat> all right, man. Peace. I shake.